Hi, I'm Scott Simpkin, part of Unit 42, the Threat Intelligence Team here at Palo Alto Networks. Today, we're going to cover details on a new research report, Operation Lotus Blossom, that details a potentially state-sponsored adversary, their targets, their motivations, who they are after, as well as what you can do to protect your organization. This is an advanced adversary campaign against government and state-sponsored entities in the Philippines, Hong Kong, Vietnam, and Indonesia, which means that this group was uh, seeking to gain a geopolitical advantage by stealing very specific information um, from government and military organizations in that area. Also, we've observed that this attack campaign dates back to 2012, meaning the group exhibits extreme persistence on the resources and organization to conduct operations over those three years um, in an ongoing fashion. Next, Unit 42 observed a novel custom-built malware toolkit that the authors have named Elise. Um, what this exhibits is a couple unique functions, such as being able to evade detection in the sandbox, being able to connect to a web of command and control servers, as well as exfiltrate data and deliver second stage malware payloads. But at the end of the day, um, what we've seen here is they built something very novel, very unique for use in the Lotus Blossom campaigns, as well as their other operations throughout the world, meaning they're not just using common off the shelf tools, they've developed something special to suit their purposes. So how do these attacks work? Um, as we've seen in the case of many advanced um, cyber espionage or adversary groups, it begins with a spear phishing email. This email has content that's very legitimate and applicable to the government and uh, military targets. So it's using things like military rosters that they expect to see. So once the victim sees the email, opens the attachment, a decoy document is, is right there in front of them that appears to be legitimate. Whereas what's actually happening is that was the Elise back door and it has been installed on their uh, machine and giving the adversary a base of operations to conduct additional network reconnaissance, compromise new systems, um, as well as deliver second stage malware or exfiltrate data. So the Unit 42 team actually discovered Operation Lotus Blossom using the Palo Alto Network's autofocus service to analyze and correlate hundreds of millions of malware samples within wildfire as well as bringing in third-party data sources to complete the picture. Palatine Network's customers are protected from the Operation Lotus Blossom attacks via threat prevention and wildfire. We highly encourage everyone in the security community, download the full report, review all of the details on the attack campaigns, the targets across every single country, as well as all associated indicators of compromise, which you can bring back to your organization in order to prevent attacks like this from happening uh, to you in the future. Thank you.